what's the good word? Kingdom, as we hear Jesus talk about in a couple, well, a lot of places, but two verses today. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your basileia come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The basileia of God is not coming with things that can be observed, nor will they say, look, here it is, or there it is, for in fact, the basileia of God is within you. So this idea, what we typically read as the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven, it's central to Jesus' teachings. Almost all of his parables are, are describing what it's like. It's part of his gospel, his good news uh, from the beginning. Uh, but what do, we, what do we understand the kingdom to be? Is the kingdom something that's kind of static or is it something that's active? Is it a place or is it a presence? You know, so often I think when we read the idea of entering the kingdom, it's this idea of where you're going to go someday after you die. Or is it about how you live and, and we enter the kingdom now, right? But, but so often it's obey these commands, live this way so that someday you can enter that kingdom as your reward. And, and there are times when it seems to be talked about in that way. But more often, it does seem to be that the kingdom is a more active thing than, than a static place. And so another way you can read that, that word, basileia, is as reign, as in what a, a king does. So Jesus actually makes a lot of times talking about the reign of God. What does it look like when God's ways are our ways, when God is actually um, in control, when God's will is done on earth as it is in heaven, as Jesus taught us to pray? So it's a lot about, we're really thinking about motivation here. Are we trying to escape from here to go to that kingdom? Or are we trying to be transformed ourselves and transform the world around us? Um, but as Jesus says, the kingdom comes here. That should be what we pray for each and every day. Not that we're trying to go somewhere else, but, but that God's presence through this reign is made known in us. Or it's within us, as Jesus said. It's already here among us. It's not something we wait for, but we can be a part of it right now. Now, one of the problems with these, both of these words, though, is that both kingdom and reign, those are kind of outdated ideas because we don't have kings who reign anymore. And so uh, a more modern way to read this would be, uh, I like the word administration. And, and I think that captures the same idea because an administration uh, is associated with a place but it's also about how are the people, the rulers from that place, carrying things out. And so we are, are looking for God's administration. Now, it's important we don't confuse God's administration with any earthly administration, uh, that we think God's kingdom is going to come through that way. Uh, and yet, how we do everything in our life can be a part of this kingdom work. And how does it come? It grows through small acts of love and grace and forgiveness, right? The parables, Jesus will talk about things like yeast or a mustard seed, and that's how we should understand the kingdom coming in us too. And so we pray for it, and then we live for it.